Hey everybody, hope you're all keeping good. Um, so just a quick one today, I regularly get asked about um, when I post up photos of um, masking, when, when we have the, the red masking tape on the cars. Um, a lot of people want to know why we mask up the cars. Um, I've even had people ask us, do we paint cars? Is that why we're masking up? So I uh, just had to do a quick little video to show you exactly why we do this. So I'm just going to use this um, BMW that we're working on at the moment as an example. So as you can see, we have the wheels um, covered up. Um, and we have here, it's a, a vent, so we have a plastic vent and a carbon fiber badge here. Um, and then around the windows, so there's a shadow chrome or like the piano black. Um, lights as well and here on the back spoiler taped as well so we try and cover um, anything at all that's going to that, that there's a number of reasons I suppose that we do cover it so I just pick up a polisher here just so you can get an idea I'm just going to use this one as an example so here we have our polisher so when this comes into this area here you can see this pad has a, an edge on it. So if we bring that pad and that rotates it, um, you know, the pad is rotating at speed and the edge of that pad, so the very corner here of this pad, you know, is going to build up a lot of heat. So you've a big potential for actually burning the plastic or burning the badge that it's going to hit. Likewise, up here, you know, if you're doing an edge like that, again, you can see that corner of the pad if it's too close to the to the edge of that uh, trim, it has the potential to burn it. So that's that's one part of it. There's also there's a couple of other reasons as well. So it's number that that what I just showed you there. That will give you an idea. Number one, you don't want to damage the parts on the car. Um, Especially with a rotary polisher, a rotary polisher can can burn plastic trim, lights, edges, corners, um, and even where the likes of um, if you had a quarter panel or the front wing coming down to meet a bumper and the bumper protruded a bit, the rotary can you know you'd want to mask off that area so that you don't um, so that the rotary polisher can't burn a, a, a little lip into that bumper where it's meeting it. The other side of it too. Um, uh, and it'll probably be more, I suppose it applies to both types of polishers, but um, you know, if you have a textured plastic bumper and you get compounder polish into the textured plastic, it, it can be hard to, it can be awkward to clean it out. Um, so it, it, it just saves a little bit on the clean up as well. Um, and then there's the other side of it where, uh, you know, it likes the sharp edges, um, badges and sharp edges from corners and edges of doors and door handles and corners of bumpers. Um, and where you have the likes of lips, you know, rear lip kits or, you know, um, different parts of bumpers. Um, they can actually damage the pads and we all know that the polishing pads aren't cheap. So you want to try and um, mask off any sharp edges like that so that you don't uh, damage your pad um, and then it costs you more money. So that's that's the, the three reasons that we mask up. Um, we would pretty much do it on every car um, that we're machine polishing. Um, we don't bother for, you know, if it's if it's if we're hand polishing or waxing. Really, we don't. We generally don't do it. Um, but you know, in, in general, we would do it if the machine polisher is coming out at all. It is something that we would definitely do. So, hope that helps, and I hope it answers some of your questions. And um, yeah, if anybody has any other questions, don't be afraid to email us. We might not be able to get back to everybody straight away, but we'll do our best. And uh, yeah, just if there is kind of common themes that crop up like the likes of this, you can always uh, try and do a bit of a video to, to uh, try and make it a bit clearer for everyone. So thanks very much and uh, we'll chat soon.